Hey guys, so today um, a follow up to the Rip Jaws and FXE unboxing. Unboxing the Phantom 2 X255. This is the whole, this is the process. So let's open it up. Yeah, so let me just talk about the processor itself. Uh, this, this, um, this can be unlocked to a 4 core, as I said. So that's why I chose this over the Athlon X4635 and stuff like that. So then we have the processor and the manual over here. The chip itself, very nice. This is the chip that would power my whole build. That's a Phantom 2 sticker. Oh, my favorite part. Without the sticker, your computer can't work. So you have to have the sticker. If not, then no. Good luck to you. I'm just kidding. But I just really like the sticker. Look at that. Phantom 2 X2. Advanced micro devices manual. Uh, shows you the different sockets. You have, yeah, all the way to socket 754, so that's pretty old. Uh, AM2, AM3, and AM2 plus. Socket F2, pretty nice. Okay. Uh, so, wow. How come there's no serial number here? I don't know why. But yeah. So inside this, you'll find certificate of and C, blah, blah. Don't care about that. So I'll search it. Uh, this is the heat sink. Um, I don't know if it's the one with the two copper pipes and the rest of the box is empty. It's a pretty small box. Well, I think it's the standard one. If it's the one with the copper heat pipe, then I'm awesome. I mean, oh, it's not. Lame. Oh my gosh, how come, wait. Uh, I'm not, how come the heat sink doesn't have the, like, the AMD logo over there? I, I, I'm not sure. Well, okay box it's finished oh wait let me just before I do that let me just flip. There, we go. Uh, there you go very very nice wow look at that uh, okay <laughs> I'm so astonished because I've never like held an, an actual AMD processor I mean my dad used them in the past but I don't know about now okay so a 4 pin uh, PWM technology I think 60 millimeter fan and not very looking heatsink. Oh, and the difference between this and the regular heatsink is that this has like an ex extension over here, and it's all aluminum, and there's pre-applied thermal compound on the bottom. It's not, it doesn't have a copper core like the Intel, but who cares? And it's slightly heavier than the Intel's. Okay, put that back. Yeah, I think, um, so yeah, um, I'll be try unlocking this to a four core. If I can, but let me just try to open the processor. Let me check some metal because I don't want to hurt the processor itself. Oh my God! Okay. 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 Keep it closely. Okay. Sorry about the cut, guys. The camera ran out of space. So here's the chip itself. Wow! Look at that. Look at the pins. Awesome! Yeah. Okay. And there's like this uh, foam thingy to protect the. Them too. I think this is the one with the C tree stepping, but I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty cool processor, I must say. Really like it. Um, yeah. So I think that's base the basic specs. Runs at two, uh, three point two, very elbow clockable, unlock multiplier. It can be unlocked to a three core or four core. So I think that's basically it. So thanks for watching this um, unboxing, guys. Um, I'll be putting back all these because I'm doing like a how to build a computer type of thing so pretty nice so um yeah thanks for watching this unboxing of the phantom 2 x2555